Ah, welcome to Screen Fiend. Yes, this is the Screen Fiend account for movie reviews, movie, whatever we want to talk about. <laughs> so, here we bring in Book Club. Now, Book Club is uh, one of those classic films that are done where people of age get together and I'm quite sure you've seen this happen your your parents have done it or or they talked about it or they experienced it but book club it's women who are basically over 65 years of age trying to relive, relive the um, old passions to me it was just too many moving parts in book club you know um, they had Diane Keaton Jane Fonda uh, Murphy Brown Candace Bergen and Mary Steigenbergen who's the lady that's married to Ted Danson and you know all of them are basically going reliving their life they love the book 50 shades of gray and now they're trying to say it's not it's not um you know it's not over for them so Uh, Bill Holderman, uh, who's from Illinois, you know, um, they went in and, you know, him and his partners, uh, they got together and wrote this film and, and it, it had its funny parts. It's just it was a little outrageous and just too many moving stories. Four stories to follow was just too much. That's why they kind of like zip through and blended Candace Bergen's thing in and just hers just had no resolution or no type of resolve to it. It's just so much. So you're going to lose some things. That's why you don't really do four stories at one time. Jane Fonda's relationship with, uh, with Don Johnson, those two have been friends for years. So you could tell the relationship with the women and men. Like, they've all known each other for the longest of time. Uh, Craig, the best relationship on there, basically, was Mary's relationship with um, with uh, Craig T. Nelson. You know, from Coach. And you know him from the Poltergeist movie, the dad from Poltergeist. But Craig T. Nelson is great as the husband as she's trying to get him to relive the magic or passion that he supposedly had lost because they haven't been making love. And Diane Keaton, she's, her husband's died. Her two daughters treat her like she's dying <laughs> because of it. At your age, Mom, you know, Christina Applegate. No, no, I'm sorry. Definitely not Christina Applegate. Um, Batgirl, Alicia Silverspoon, or whatever. Yeah, okay, that's me. So, she's in the film. Um, you know, she's in total mom mode now. Far gone from Batgirl. So, anyway. The movie just didn't click. Andy Garcia and Diane Keaton, they've known each other since The Godfather Part 3. And they've been best friends since then. They've just been kept in contact. Each other is still friends. Now they get to play love interests in the movie. And all the women, I guess, got to choose the men they wanted to work with in the film. You know, I was like, let me bring in my fans, friends. So it just, it seemed like Instead of a movie, it seemed like friend, four friends hanging out. It's the older version of Sex in the City. <laughs> <coughs> so, 
So if I had to rate it, I would give it two and a half stars out of four for Book Club. Now the directing, Bill Holderman, you did a great job. I've seen shots in this film that I probably have not seen in movies. And I'm like, wow, that's a nice shot. This is a nice shot. That's, man, it, so from a direct, it was shot very well. I will give him that. You get kudos for that. But as far as this, this, uh, this script, <sighs> it's not very well. So, that's that. And that's about it. So I'm done. Um, go check it out. It's a good one watch, you know. Now, that means if you're 35 and older. If you're not 35 and older, please. Or you can wait to video or cable. Check it out. You, it has some funny moments. Dreyfus was hilarious in his small time he had in the film. You know, so that's my approach to it. And I'm out.